folks, for the first time in Australia, the peerless Prince of the Prom, Lester Lennon himself, and welcome. Hello, Philip Brady. You're so kind to come out of your way such a distance. I'm very honored and grateful indeed. We are at Old Westbury in New York, and I see so many young people come up to you to shake your hand, and uh, even among the young people, there's so much love in their hearts for you because of the music that you've uh, generated through the years. You're very kind. I just hope I can fulfill your thoughts. Uh, indeed, I mean. Why haven't you ever been down to see us in Australia? I'd love to, and I, at the earliest opportunity, I'm going to take advantage of it. The only thing is that you have to take a week or two off, and I'm, I have so many contracts ahead. But I'm looking forward to it. It'll be thrilling to be in Australia with my dear brothers. It's such a long flight, as I know. I've come from Melbourne to see you tonight, and that took, uh, oh, about a day and a half to get here. Oh, I do have news. I'll be on the QE2, and, and, and it's about the first week in... The last week in February and the first week in March, we're coming from Hawaii to a stop at Australia. Good, I'll yeah, be on board, QE2. I'll come on board yeah. and, and see you, yeah. I look forward yeah, to that. That's right. Well, that's a scoop for our listeners tonight. Uh, are you New York uh, bred yourself? Have you always based yourself around uh, the east coast of America? Well, I'm a Philadelphia originally, and l later on I thought I'd take it, I thought I would take a try, or whatever the word is, of, of, to be in New York. And it was a bit of a trial, really, you know, six million people versus Lester Lannan. But with God's will and the perseverance and determination, and I, I, I stuck it out and I developed a little name. And now I go through United States, Canada, the islands and Western Europe, day and night, and I'm very grateful. Well, of course, you come from a very musical family. I'm thinking of your, your brother, Sam, who made thousands of dance band records himself, and, and another brother, Howard. Aaron. And even your great-grandfather, I understand, used to play for the heads of uh, state in various European crown right, countries. Right, right. Now, Sam Lannan, I'm proud of because I think he was really the, the father of all the name band stuff. He, all the top name band musicians played for Sam Lannan. Yes. You can look that up and verify that statement. And, of course, there's a link with John Philip Sousa in your family, too, isn't there? <laughs> the... Uh, well, Sam Lannan originally played with, oh, I forgot, the, not for John Philip Sousa, another band uh, similar. Well, I'm, I'm a little From bit... From about the same time. Era, yes, yeah. that's right, that's right. And, of course, you have played all the great uh, White House functions, I imagine, through the years. How, how many presidents have you known, Lester? Well, well just since Eisenhower. And uh, I played at the White House for all the presidents. Uh, but especially President Kennedy, he used to entertain socially. So I've there about eight, ten times, and uh, Johnson, President Johnson, he danced all night, never stopped. President Nixon played piano with us. The, I'm just a lucky man, and I've been—I just played for Mrs. Pamela Harriman for for President Clinton. And I had 30 men. It was a pretty big band, and was yes. at the pension building. It was good. There was one time when you'd have about 20 bands out on the road at the same time. Years ago, yes, yes. Not quite as many today, but we're still quite busy. We're quite busy. And, and on those occasions, would you try and make an appearance at each ball or each function yourself at some point during the night? You you can't do that if they're one's in Cincinnati, the other's in Chicago and all that. You can't make but just one. But if they're all in New York, you can go from the Colony to the Cosmopolitan Club, the River Club. Uh, you can go from one to the other. As a matter of fact, you and say, how do you do, Mrs. Jones? Is everything all right? Uh, oh, unless it's perfectly divine. I say, thank you very much for having me. Let's go to the next party. Yeah. That I do. Shortly, uh, Lester Lennon will uh, front the orchestra here at Old Westbury in New York in a beautiful parkland setting on a glorious summer night. And I understand you don't have any charts on the bandstand at all. There is no music. No. <laughs> well, the men, I, I must give them credit. I admire them. They, they're geniuses to play all night or Cole Porter and Gershwin and what have you without a sheet of music. And, uh, and if you hear any bad notes, you let me know, and I'll give you a dollar for every one they hit. And, you know, I don't think I'll be paying up any money. No. Cole Porter was a personal friend of yours, yes, of course. Yes, poor man after his accident. He, he fell he, off a horse, didn't yes, he? Yes, yes. Well, the horse fell on him. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And, it's, and he was never really well after he got through. And he had many, many operations and all. But we have him because his music is here. He's alive like, like Jesus is alive. Of course. <laughs> I mean, what's written is what counts. 
Yes. We have music for all, we have paintings, we, so these people live on. Oh, how well put. That's so true, isn't it? And of course, you will always live on through your music and through your records and uh, through your film appearances. We saw you not so long ago with Sybil Shepherd in yeah. the picture, Chances Are. Oh, yes. But that, that was fun. And I just was in the... Uh, just play the opening of another picture with the same company. <clears throat> oh, we look out for that. Yes. And and we always associate Lester Lanham with the DuPonts and uh, the Fords and the Vanderbilts and the Astors. Apart from playing at all their functions and their uh, debutante balls and so on, have you become friendly with some of these people through the years as well? Or is it mainly I'm a professional engagement? Professionally, very friendly. Yes. There's love between us. Yes. I'm very grateful to say love. But to intrude or to call them or to go to their homes or this, never. I never danced with a woman in my life at a party. I made that my business. Never dance with a guest. I could dance with three guests every night. Of course. And I, I really love the people I play for. I really do. You can mention the asses, the Whitney's, the Vanderbilt's, the Fords, the Mellon, the Ponts. I'm not kicking names around. I'm just, just trying to, um, not impress you, to, to, to be grateful. To tell you the truth. Well, it's and, all history. It's all well, tonight in we're the book. playing for the Phipps. Yes. Now, the, he, he won a Kentucky Derby two years ago. Yeah. The Phipps was Henry Carnegie Phipps. It was Michael Sony, Sonia Audrey, and and uh, Michael Sonia Audrey. And to four of them. Well, of course, the Phipps owned this homestead, didn't they? Old Westbury here. Yeah, this and, uh, is their home. They what with uh, yeah. Andrew Carnegie, That's I think, right. That's uh, his had a big uh, steel uh, That's right. company here in America. That's right. And, and didn't you play also for the wedding of Prince Charles and uh, Lady, Lady Di? And for Prince Andrew, and the 60th birthday for Queen Elizabeth. Yes. And 21st birthday for Prince Edward. And Luton Who for Prince Philip. That's his favorite charity. And World Wildlife for him. And English Speaking Union for him played many 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 beautiful people in England and in France, uh, Ireland, uh, Sweden, not Sweden, yes, all, the, all the Scandinavian kings and queens. I'm, again, I'm just bragging, I'm not bragging, I'm just trying to tell you I'm grateful. That's well, all. I understand there's, there's a legend that the Duke of Windsor used to like conducting the orchestra himself. He, he, Is this played, true? He, he played with us many times. He was, we, my brother Bill had the orchestra at the Embassy Club in London. Yes. And the Prince of Wales was the president. And then he became the King of England. So he had other things to do. And so the club closed later on. But for eight years, my brother Bill had the band. Then when he became the Duke of Windsor, I had the orchestra for him at the Governor's Club in Nassau. And then his missus, uh, the Duchess of uh, uh, Windsor. She had many heart balls and, and charitable events. I played them all, thank God. Well, we are looking forward to a right royal time tonight here, and I am just so thrilled to be in your company, and I'm looking forward eagerly to your music. You're very kind. I hope and pray I don't disappoint you. <laughs> I'm sure you won't. Folks, Lester Lennon. Th thank you. Thank you. To introduce Mr. Lester Lennon. Start of it 
in old New York. And when I make it here, I'll make it anywhere. It's up to you, New York, New York. Above the blue and windy sea When I come home to you, San Francisco Your golden sun will shine for me
Así, así, ahí van a la raspa así, 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 y ahí van a la raspa así, 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 y ahí van a la raspa así, 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 ahí van a la raspa así. Why is there something true? 
Well, it's really jumping. Come and catch and grab your hands, cause I mean the joint is jumping. The piano's thumping. The dancer's bumping. Well, this here spot is more than hot, cause I mean the joint is jumping. Check your weapons at the door, be sure to leave your border. Burn your leather on the floor, grabbing everybody's daughter. Well, this place is rocking. Neighbors knocking. We're all bumped when the wagon comes. When I mean the joy is
and high hats and arrow collars, white spats and lots of dollars, spending every dime for a wonderful time. If you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where fashion sits? Putting on the Ritz. A different type, so with a dick, who pants with stripes, and cut a wig, who perfect fits. Putting on the Ritz. Dressed up like a million dollar trooper. Trying hard to look like Gary Cooper. Super duper. Come, let's mix my rockabellas, walk with sticks, and umbrellas in their midst. Putting on the It's cold and it's damp. That is why I believe it is a trap.
shade with my blues on parade. But now I'm not afraid. This rover stepped over. If I never have a set, I'll be rich as a rock. Did you know I'm rich and I'm rich and I'm With gold dust and my feet on the sunny side of the sun.
שמח, אורחים, אורחים, לא שמח.
Happy for the rest of your life. Never make a fancy woman your wife. From my personal point of view, get an ugly girl to marry here. A pretty woman makes a man look small. Very often causes his downfall. But if you make an ugly woman your wife, you're gonna be happy for the rest of your life. If you wanna be happy for the rest of your life, never make a fancy one with your wife. From my personal point of view, get an ugly girl to marry you. Down the way where the nights are gay and the sun shines gaily on the mountain top. Oh, so very sad. You can fly away to 
what you are. Does things to me never before has someone been more unforgettable in every way and forevermore. That's how you say.
the uh, the winners of the raffle. I just need my runner to bring me a lucky number. The first prize that we're going to uh, call and pick from the bowl is a selection of gifts from Old Westbury Gardens, including a one-year membership. And the winner is... What's the first name? Ruth Crone, Westbury. Ruth Crone. <laughs> The next prize that we're going to pull out of the bowl is a picnic hamper for two fully outfitted. I hope the champagne is in there too. Grace Basile, Garden City, 2 Maryland Avenue. Grace Basile. Uh, the next uh, prize is going to be the Captiva Polaroid camera and film, courtesy of Polaroid Corporation. All ladies this evening, Helene Galstian, Forest Hills, New York. A $1,500 in gift certificates from the Americana Shopping Center in Manhasset. <laughs> Mrs. Vowels, V-O-W-E-L-S, I believe, and I have only a telephone number. And now we have a his and a hers, Concord watches, courtesy of Fortunoffs. <laughs> Diane Bickleman, 216 Hill Avenue, Elmont, New York. I hope you're here, two watches. And now the grand prize, five night, six day stay for two at the El Conquistador Resort and Country Club in Puerto Rico. Look at this lucky couple. Linda Haddad, Huntington, New York. We're going to add to this prize list through the generosity of Lester Lennon. We have eight CDs that we're going to give away, so we're going to start right now. Frank Messana, Ferncrest Road, Mineola. You get a Lester Lennon CD. Next is Bert Auerbach, 
64th Avenue, Flushing, New York. That's two. Now we'll get the third CD. I see all the men are winning the CDs. Tom Tobin. Mariches, I think it is Mariches, New York. Hewitt Boulevard. Russ Krizek, Utopia Parkway, Flushing, New York. <laughs> this is just D. Downs, Terrace Court, Albertson, New York, right next door. Oh, wonderful. I think it's the Reverend Beardsley in Westbury. Wonderful. H. Beardsley, I'm sure it is. And next is Mackie, 38 Parkview Place, Baldwin, New York. And now... We have seven, one more. This CD, CD goes to Tobin, T-O-B-I-N, St. Paul's Road North, Hempstead. And now I think if, if all of the winners will just come to this side of the stage, we'll be happy to uh, give you your your prizes and then there is another prize someone uh, in an explorer left their lights on and the license number is 5MU495 an explorer with the lights on I thank you all
soon I will be, thank you. Soon. Ha, ha, ha. 